folks, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the quarterfinals. I believe that's right. Quarterfinals. I get all that crap confused. But this is the White County Central Tibbers versus the Bryant Hive Five. Guys, I know we've already talked about this matchup a little bit, but this is going to be a dandy. Yeah, we pal. Both of these teams are coming in here. Both, both very disciplined. Both have excellent coaches. Uh, Coach Matt Jones uh, over there at White County Central. Uh, we know him. Talk to him. He's got a very, very good team. Um, Coach Moore over there at Bryant. I said he he coaches very good teams. Very, very passionate. Both of these coaches, probably two of the most passionate League of Legends coaches in the state. So. I expect nothing but perfection from both of these teams. I'm just looking at, at the pregame lobby here. They're really close. Uh, looks like in rank and, and for match. So uh, I'm going to be looking uh, at both these supports, really. I remember both these supports' names very well. They they play really solid. They play really well with their team at ADC. And I'm going to go ahead and say that the, the better support may be the difference in this in this matchup. Yep, I agree with you, man. I know we sound like a broken record sometimes because we talk about how much of a team game this is and how these how these uh, young men and women always play so well as a team. And these two are prime examples of that. You know, I th I th I'm with you. Sports going to play a big role, and I think the jungle is going to play a big role. Uh, curious to see kind of how, you know, what lane is going to be the strongest and what where the jungler has to kind of go and babysit, so to speak. But, uh you know, White County kind of got to buy the first round. They kind of got a forfeit, so we didn't really get to see them in action. Uh, now, Bryant uh, took care of business. They had a split. They won 2-1 against, uh, oh, shoot, was it uh, BWHS? That's who it was. Very yeah. well. So, yeah. but, yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite stages right here, guys. I love the banning stage. So many stinking champions to ban. Like it's, you kind of got to pick the greater of the evils. I have seen a lot of Zach bans lately. That, that's okay. A lot of the buffed champions of late are the first ones to go off the board. Yep. No Annie in here. Not going to let Tibbers out on the rift. And the Zach, I've seen that Zach play jungle before Wu Pao, and that's that's another really solid jungle player. So it's a really good band there. Absolutely. Yeah. Not not having Annie makes me sad. Yeah, right. You're, you're, it's the Tibbers, man. Come on. He, he does have Tibbers here in the lab with him, so maybe he can, you know, hold on to Tibbers, and maybe that'll make him feel a little bit better. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. They they don't they don't want Tibbers to have Tibbers. I don't blame them. Let me get my um, icon straight, guys. And then we're gonna have uh, we we'll have no Yumi and no Echo and no Jacks. No Jacks. So and Anivia, that's an interesting band. So it looks like they're maybe focused on that mid lane a little bit with the Annie and Anivia bands. I agree. And the Yumi ban, I don't know if they've done anything with Yumi in the last couple of weeks. I know there was a lot of uh, teams towards the middle of the season saying that Yumi should be banned from play. It was way OP'd. So I don't know if that has something to do with it or if there's a way to kind of uh, tame that down on the rift now. Yeah. So first pick up, we have a Nautilus, which I am a big fan of Nautilus. Um, I'm assuming that's going to be the support for the team i mean just such a good bruiser good good cc just all around a good champion yeah now we got samira and renata glass coming out in the other lanes going to be going yeah. head to head with that nautilus i do like the renata for the ultimate especially in team fights it, it, can, oh, it can really turn a fight around we know samira can pump out damage so this this should be interesting for this bottom lane for sure, Wu Pao. Absolutely. You know, we saw in our last match we got to cast on Monday, we seen some Samira play and I'm telling you, it's if you get the right support, which Renata is classic with that ultimate, and then you throw a Samira ultimate on top of it, you just you can wipe out an entire team. 
And I, I'm wondering, Wu Power, are they going to play this Seraphine as an ADC in that bottom lane? Uh, I've seen it before. We've seen it in on here with Don Tyson playing that way. Yep. Uh, playing two support bottom lane. Looks like uh, Tibbers might be taking a page out of that book here. That's very possible. We've seen how strong that can be, too. So there's a Jarvan pick. So there's our jungler. Yeah, that's going to give them some good CC in team fights. Jarvan, even being the jungler, doing damage, but he has a lot of CC. Seraphine CC, Nautilus, tons of CC. So, man, they're really going CC heavy on this tipper side over here. And then we got Bryant breaking out the Wukong here. I, I like the pick. Wukong's very strong in the jungle right now. Good mobility, uh, good sustain, and good pacing. Oh, sorry, Fooey. No volley bear, buddy. Can't get to watch no volley play. I know, man. Vo volley bear is just not what he was in season 11, uh, Woo Pow. So uh, I feel their pain. <laughs> I haven't played him much lately either because eh, not quite the domination it was in the jungle before. True. All right. Fourth ban is a victor. So looks like both teams are really kind of focused. Uh... Well, maybe not so much, but that's that's a good mid lane ban. Yeah, we do have several mid laners out on both sides, actually. So looks like There's both an... teams are going to focus that a little bit. Sure enough, that, that Oriana could be the same thing. I see you see Oriana mostly played in the mid lane. Last ban, I kind of expect another mid laner to be honest. Sandra. Okay. Yeah. So. Blue Sandra. So I believe guys were looking for the mid laner possibly for both teams and the top laner. I think you're right. Unless they're playing some kind of meta pick possibly with a, with a jungler, but I, I don't look for it. I look for these teams to be more traditional draft. And yeah, we do. We have the Ari here for the staple of the mid lane. Very nice pick. Very strong champion right now. And like you said before, I'd yet again, more CC. Yes, definitely. I, I've been looking forward to this since we said we were going to do this, but especially last night even, I was thinking, all right, we get to watch this match tomorrow. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited to watch both these teams play. Like I said, I know how much both these coaches put into, into league, so it just makes me excited. I know we're going to see some – Excellent gameplay out here on the Rift today. And they, they bust out the Zillion here, so they've really got three supports on their team there, Wu Pao. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking now we could see Zillion mid, maybe Seraphine mid. I'm not sure who they're going to combo down the bottom lane, but, I mean, Trendamere's the top laner for sure, so I am very interested to see how they place these champions. Me too, and, and we very well could see Seraphine play mid lane. I wouldn't be one bit surprised, but even if even if so, that would put Zillion and Nautilus bottom. So, almost no way to not have two supports bot here. But we'll see. We'll see There's your guy right there, isn't it? <laughs> it's nasty. Yeah, it is, and it's going to be in the top lane against that Trendemir. That's going to be a good pick into that Trendemir. Yeah, once Malphite hits level six, I mean, it's it's game on. That ultimate really can bust stuff open in a hurry. Yes, it can. I think uh, White County is going to go with the non-death squad, man. Zillion with the revive, Trendemir's hard to kill. Hey, the yeah. and all. I mean, it, they're going to be hard to kill, man. You're right. And then that, the Zillion looks like that's going to be mid lane there. Uh, so a little bit of a meta pick, I would say, in that mid lane. I agree. I've seen Zillion has become pretty popular in the mid lane over the last couple of seasons. Uh, but I guess Ari, man, that, that seemed like that's going to be kind of a tough matchup. But I say that, you know, Zillion is one of those champions that can just poke you to death, just run you out of lane and just, just bulldoze you over. I think we're going to have to watch that around level six when Ari gets that ultimate, though, because she can. she's so mobile that she can just pop right in there unload all of her damage and then get right back out before Zillion really has a chance to to counter that with his stuns. That's going to that's going to be fun to watch. 
That's true. That, that's going to be a good matchup because she's got the speed, and then, of course, Zillion has a buff where he can speed up himself to get out of the way. So that's going to be – whoever's got the quicker trigger finger, I think Fui's going to take that one. I agree, and Jarvan and Wukong both both excel in the jungle. Especially, I, I'm I'm looking for an early Jarvan gank here. I always say that every time someone plays Jarvan, but man, he is so strong at level two, even level three. It, it's almost just crazy what what damage he can output at a low level. So, I'm going to look for White County to try to get that early gank. I, I don't know if they'll see a full clear on both sides. Like I said, and and they may be just trying to kind of play each other out this first first match i don't know i know they scouted each other no doubt in my mind so oh sure we'll see what they do and we've seen this before too like you mentioned earlier with don tyson picking two support champions in the bottom lane where they seem to funnel the mid laner or the top laner and really really get them fed and then you got all these other champions just keeping them alive so they can just go murder people across the map yeah, and that, that may be very well what they're thinking, but I'm telling you right now, too, though, uh, Seraphine can pump out a lot of damage if she's built right. Um, so that may be what they're thinking there, too. I mean, uh, AD Seraphine is pretty nasty. Well, that's true, man, and you got Nautilus there to sit in the front and just soak up the damage. Yeah, I re I'm with you. I really like the Nautilus pick. I always like Nautilus, but it's just the fact that uh, every time he acquires a new target and he hits them, he stuns them for half a second. And if they run that with Glacial Augment, it's so frustrating. I mean, it is just crazy frustrating how much slow he can pump out. Yeah, I fully expect this Nautilus to have Glacial Augment. Said the flip side of that for Bryant, uh, though, is the Renata Glass ultimate because if White County uh, was to get one of their champions fed, they're going to have to be very careful around that Renata Glass because we've seen it in several games before where that fed uh, ADC or whatever player it is, whatever champion, turns around and basically takes out their whole team just off that Renata Glass ultimate. Yeah, that's true. That ultimate can change the, the pace of a fight in a hurry, especially if you're, you know, maybe around the dragon pit, around the herald or something, and everybody's kind of all wadded up. It can, it can be it can be gross. Looks like we're about to be up and rolling here, I believe. Game's loading in, so let's see if we get the loading screen here. Yep, there it is. There you go. Yep, Nautilus Glacial Augment. Yeah, that makes me that <laughs> makes me want to puke just looking at it. Well, I'm not. I'm not see. There it goes. I'm about to say I'm not seeing it through. There we go. Now we're good. Yeah. Now we're cooking. And hopefully we've got somebody else that can kind of throw us some uh, information on the other games going on, too, uh, throughout the state in the top eight already, guys. It like this spring season went by so stinking quick. Yes, it did. I agree. Ooh, looks like we're going to get an invade here from White oh, County. Oh, boy. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. They're bringing the heat. Boy, that – oh, yeah. And that yeah. Nautilus root. I think they might get, they're going to get this, Woo Pal. Yep. Oh, yep. very nice. And Zillion. Picks up the first kill on the invade. White County just coming through uh, Bryant's jungle like a steam engine. I mean, they just came <laughs> stomping in their Wu Pow. There was no doubt that they were going to go in and try for that. I love this. Right off the bat, White County says, We're coming to get you, and we got you. And now we're going to back out, and we're going to go ahead and leash for our jungler, and we're up 1 0, and the game hadn't even started. Excellent, <laughs> excellent gameplay. It's, you know, that early gank in the jungle like that is almost like a mindset, man. You get somebody and you, you, you pump them in the jungle and they're like, you know, kind of throws them off for a little bit. So I like it too, man. You don't see it very often, but I think it's a great maneuver.
No, and, and Bryant, he, he wasn't there in the river to, to have the heads up on that. They were just hitting the bush. They were going to go ahead and leash, and White County took this excellent gameplay, took, took full advantage of that. Already have some nice laning going on here. Both teams really focusing on. See us. Here comes the early gank from the Jarvan. Oh, Nautilus just misses. If Nautilus hits that, I I think they get another kill right there, Wu Pal. That was so close. Yeah, that's one of those things where you know Jarvan's already kind of in the area. So if you can get a flash out of somebody, you know that flash is going to be down now for several minutes. So I expect another regank coming in before that flash is back up. I agree, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and, and try to invade this jungle here. I don't know if they – do they have vision in there? Because I can't really tell, but he is really hovering around this Jarvan. He's going to come right up on this Wukong. Yeah. So. Man, they're about to run it. Yeah, okay, Jarvan gets out of there. Yeah, they may have had a little vision in that jungle. They may have dropped a ward uh, whenever they invaded early on. I can't tell either, but just kind of poking around, seeing what's there. Yeah, and here comes Jarvan. Very, very active early. Yes, he is. I love Man, it. There. Oh, boy. Almost gets that. We got the Glacial Augment down here in this bottom lane. They're getting a nice push in this bottom lane, Chuck. They're pl they're playing really aggressive. Uh, Jarvan is, is roaming around trying to get ganks. He's not really been farming as much. So, man, they, they are being very aggressive at this at, the, at this early game stage. And there's Jarvan again. He's coming up to support his Trendemir. Great, great gameplay by the jungler supporting each lane. What's crazy is, man, as much movement as he's had, he's still only down 8 CS. So he's still managing to pick that up, you know, along with giving support to all of his lanes. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's really hard to do. I mean, I would expect him to be way more behind the Wukong. But now Wukong did just pack to buy. So that's going to give, uh, I think Wu Pao, or uh, not Wu Pao, Wu Kong is thinking, hey, I, I need to get an item or two. So if this Jarvan wants to come play around in my jungle, then we'll play one on one when I have better items. Seraphine going to have to try to yeah. get out of here. It's I, just, not... I don't know if she's going to make Oof. it. I don't think she will. The Samir is just going to have too much damage, but she does somehow make it. Barely. Just enough health, man. That's very nice. I think, uh, yeah, like you said earlier, they had a good push down there, the Seraphine Nautilus, but I think they pushed a little too far. They, they kind of yeah. watch that Renata. She's got a little hook, too, where she can pull them in just enough to get in that turret range. That's what happened. Nautilus took a turret shot or two, and that was all it took. Very, very close game so far. One to one, 7.5, 7.6 to 7.8 gold. Gold is just right there. And they they are just dead even right here in this early game. Yeah, nothing too surprising right now. Of course, I do see the early uh, boot pickup by Samira. Trying to get some Merc Treads going on, so that's good. Trying to reduce that. Nautilus Seraphine hook issue. Yes, and reduce that magic damage coming out from Seraphine. So that's that's a very, very good choice of itemization there. And we've got a nice wave in this top top lane for uh Tibbers. They're gonna go ahead and get that shove in right there. Good job by the Trendemir farming. Clearing out some vision here at the bottom. Now we got we got the dragon up, Wu Pal. So we're going to have to watch and see who's going to try to make the first play on that. But I, I'm assuming, yeah, White County's probably gearing up for that. I've seen Jarvan backed right there, uh, got a quick buy-in. So I figure that's probably where their next move is going to be made. 
Yeah, I do have Wukong coming here uh, to this mid lane, looking to see if he can get something, but they did have it warded, so Zillion's going to know that he's in the area, probably not push up very far. A very methodical play by both of these teams. You can tell they really know what they want to do. Neither one of them are just getting uh, gung-ho or trigger-happy so far. They're just content to lane and try to get that gold advantage. Very, very smart game play by both of these teams here. Very, very patient gameplay. Just kind of waiting for somebody to make a mistake. CS is pretty even across the board. No. <laughs> Every time you play Tristana, Strano, I'm like, oh, there he goes again. He's jumping in. I got to try to save him. Oh. I love it. Ooh, Jarvin just misses there in that mid lane on the gang. That Jarvin, super, super active and nice, nice hook here by the Nautilus. Uses a knockup, Seraphine trying to polish off the Samira there, almost gets it. I think you're going to have to yeah. force it back. This might be a perfect opportunity for that Drake whoop out. Absolutely. That's what they want to do, I think. Kind of push them out of lane, uh, you know, get a kill, great. If not, at least they're low enough where they can actually have an easy setup on Drake. But I don't know. Jarvin's nowhere close. Neither is Wukong. So. Yeah, and they're, they're getting a nice push in this bottom lane, but uh, Samira just choosing to stay in lane, so a little risky there. You know, just a couple of pokes right there, and Samira's toast, so... And I think... But oh, that's why. She uses that's, the ultimate that's right why. there. Yeah. Wow, that's nasty whoop out. Very, that's, very... <laughs> wow. That's, that's called bait right there, gentlemen. Wow. Yeah, that, that Renata's got that nasty ability. I keep forgetting about that where, you know, it brings you back to life or protects you from death or whatever. I can't remember the name of it. Ooh, they're going to tower dive this. And Trudy yep. can probably get this because he's level six, but he didn't use his ultimate. Wow. wow. I really thought he would ult there and just polish off the Malphite, but I don't know if he missed a key or if he didn't have his ult. I'm not sure, Blue Pal. One of, one of the two. Yeah, and this is going to give the Drake to them. Yeah, Chuck, they're down here just they're they're taking this they're take they took advantage of that immediately, Chuck. That's a thousand IQ play by Bryant. Uh, it's all Coach Moore's fault. I'm sure that he set this entire play up. That's probably the number four play. Uh, I'm sure he's back there calling it. So uh, we're going to give full credit to Coach Moore for that dragon kill. Yes, I, I have heard that, and, and I'm sure that he will be one of the first to graduate with a, a doctorate or a master's in League of Legends. <laughs> well, you know, we did talk about, guys, that there was going to be a mistake somewhere. That was the one mistake, and it opened up the map. And then, you know, it's you, you kind of hope for White County's sake that that doesn't push things too far out of control. I don't think it does, but the gold is still really close. Right. No, but Ari doing a good job in this one-on-one -on -one with Zillion, but doesn't realize that she's getting dipped on here. Said she just has tons of mobility. I don't know if that finishes her off or not. Wow, she no. does get out of there. Good recognition by that mid laner. But uh, one thing I'm noticing, Wu Pao, is Bryant is content to let this bottom lane push, and they're punishing him for it. Oh, Jarvin with a good, oh, good gank. Yeah, very, he was kinda, very nice. He was hiding in the chickens that came over the wall. I love it. Nice recognition by the jungler helping out his team there. That Ari was low. They were able to take advantage of it that time. We're just about to the 11-minute point of the game to where itemization is starting to come online a little bit. We're not seeing any mythics completed, but... Ooh, very nice that, ultimates oh. coming out all the way around. Yep. 
That was just well played, guys. I mean, it was that, that Wu Kong Ultimate man. It's it's gross. Is that I, what it is? I would not doubt that Coach Moore would not use any any sort of mind control technology if he thought that it would give his team the edge, and he may be uh, communicating with them uh, much like Professor X. Uh, would not surprise me one bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what to say to that one. <laughs> <laughs> But I will tell you something I do like this Malphite. You know, you could build Malphite several different ways, but they're they're going full tank with this Malphite. They're wanting him to just get in there, and I'm sure ultimate, throw him what damage you can, and then set it up for that Samira and Ari and, and Wukong. Yeah, it really hasn't. This, this Trendomir hasn't been as dominant as I thought. I thought they would really have a problem with, you know, that unending rage from Trendomir, but so far they have played around that perfectly. And, oh, he gets the – you just talked about the yeah. mid lane there, Chuck, and there it happens. Chuck called it. Well, those uh, those Zillion bombs, man, you know, he's already got the, uh, the sort boots. Uh, he's he's getting some AP built up, and those things are just going to get nastier and nastier. I'm assuming he's going to go Ludens, probably, try to pump out as much damage as possible. Yep. Harold out in the mid lane. Now, this this could this could make a difference here. Get this get this pressure on this mid lane. Wukong hanging around, helping his team out, using a stopwatch. The one item that I always uh, forget oh. that I have. Malphite. Malphite's coming down from the top lane. Uh, good ultimate by Zilly. Keep himself yep. alive. Yep. Kind of it may not around. be enough, guys. No, nope, because Wukong's going to bring that. Out. Oh, man. What's some. No, he oh. cannot. And there's Ari's mobility coming in. Ari says, I got you back, buddy. Yes, good job by the top laner putting pressure on up there. If they're if they're going to abandon that top lane, you have you have to punish them for it every time. That's what's crazy, guys. Bryant's up four kills, but the gold lead is less than 300 gold. I mean, they're doing a good job of pressuring towers, getting plates early until that. Yeah, it's yep, it's past 14 minute mark now. Those towers are going to go down in a hurry. Oh, very nice ultimate there from the Nautilus. Get the knock on Samira. Is it enough? I'm not sure. Samira just not able to get in there. Couldn't get on the tower. And it gets right out of there with that hook. Absolutely. Yeah, and now we got Zillion dipping down here. They got the Samira so low, I don't know. Oh, oh, just so out of reach. Close. Yeah, but Wukong's going to be careful right now. Renata's trying to come over, but Jarvin sees it and says, hey, I want in on some of this action too, but if you want to hang around in, in the river, so. Yes. Yeah, de most definitely. Both teams posturing, trying to see if they could get get something there. Both teams just backing off of it. Nice job by Wukong, clearing out that vision, and then he's going to back. That's this great play by Wukong. Seize the wards there, get rid of it, back, buy a ward for yourself, take away that vision. Yeah, something we're starting to see now too, guys. We're seeing some Mythics come online. I like the Everfrost by the Zilly, and that's just one more slow to throw in there. Seraphine with the Leandres, get that burn damage. See a couple of cringe bows coming out. And it looks like Malphite went with the Iceborne, so he is really going to go tanky. Oh, 
Oh, already got the lootings, I think. So yeah, that's yeah. gonna be a that's gonna be a battle in the mid lane. Ooh, got a gank in the bottom lane. Yeah. Yep. Oh wow, and Samira's gonna ultimate again, but Oh, and there's the Renata. Wow. That's it. Great. Wow. Nice Great play. series there. Very nice. <laughs> they they somehow managed to to weather the revive and the Renata ultimate down there. So that was really well played by White County. Yeah, yeah, right now it's 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 starting to switch gears a little bit. That Trendomir is still down a little bit in the top lane, but I mean he's made it even with the gold simply by taking that tower, getting pressure. And Trendomir is one of those champions too. Once they build up some items, man, ugh, you better watch out. Yeah, Bryant. Yep. And this is a smart move by uh, White County right here by saying, you know what, they beat us there. They got numbers. Back off of it. Our train of mirror is going to get Rift Herald. We'll swap you for that and, and just go from there. So that, I, I like that they didn't try to just jump in there and take it with no vision and, and just kind of a desperation move. They did not do that. They're too disciplined for that. Coach Jones has got these. Uh, League of Legends players at a high discipline level, and they're just not going to bail in on something that, that they're not sure about. Yeah, you're right. It's, you know, something else is, you know, they're only got two drakes, so, you know, you don't really got to worry about it till that third and fourth dragon, obviously, then. So just getting two, hey, you'll take that Rift Herald. You know, towers are, you drop a Rift Herald now, then towers are going to go down in a hurry. Yeah, and they already have that top tower too, Wu Pao. So that means if they can either get uh, the next tower in, or possibly this mid tower is real low. Oh, we got we got a nice gank there in that mid lane. Malphite is coming down again, Wu Pao. He's really yeah. spending a lot of time in this mid lane, and that's allowing Trindamir to get that push. But man, Jar they're, they're they, they do. yeah, Jarvan is doing such a good job of supporting his lanes that he really can't get that one on one that he wants. Yeah, he's getting in there, getting the kill, then disengaging immediately. So, really good movement by the Jarvan. Man, this is the excellent game that we thought we would see. Eight, you know, eight and eight right now, Chuck. 32K to 29K gold. So close. Great team fight action. And we got another rumble down here in this bottom lane. Samira busting out that ultimate. Going to finish off the Seraphine. But Samira's not done yet. She swapped to the sword, and then we get the double ultimate there. Wow. Wow, this hey, this this bottom laner's lost his mind now. That's all there is to it, guys. That that was some excellent Samira play there. I'm impressed. Yeah, that's Samira, man. Oh. Mid lane is Oh, I don't think oh, that's gonna be enough, guys. I it don't think be. it is, and no one's gonna get there in time to help. I don't believe Oh, and he gets the flash yep. off. Zillion saying, Not today, buddy. Not today. No, you'll have to come back. Nope, 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 not today. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, exactly. Now they're going to get pressure on that bottom tower, and then Ari is putting pressure on this mid tower. Man, it, it, you're right, Chuck. The momentum has just swung the other way. You could just see it across the map. Excellent job by this Bryant squad being resilient. Well, and I will say... I'm glad that a, a student is playing the Samira right now because they have the Samira ultimate. They got the cringe bow. If I was in a game playing against that right now, folks, I'm just going to tell you, it would not be good for my system, okay? There would be parts of computers flying everywhere because that champion right there is awful. It's awful champion. I want you guys to look too, though. Look at both these junglers. We got 129 CS and we got 148 CS. Their pacing is excellent. We've seen the Jarvan help out the lanes, We've seen Wukong help out the lanes, but man, they are doing an excellent job of farming, even as much as they've been in I'm telling you, it's hard to do. It is hard. I know from playing jungle, I'm not expert, but it is hard to keep that pacing. Well, you're 100% right. It absolutely is. They're doing a fantastic job. 
Yeah, and and they're playing great as a team because we don't, you know, the highest the highest kill count we have is actually from the Zillion. And if you would have told me at the first of the game, I would have said that there's no way. Uh, we do have the Samira with four one and one excellent play there too. But man, th these teams are playing well together. They're engaging together. I love how both these teams play. Yeah, I do too. And just we just looking at it from in game perspective. I mean, I, I feel like yep. I feel like Bryant's team is a little more geared for the end game. I, I think you may be right there, Wu Pao, uh, just because of the Wu Kong. Uh, like I said, that Renata's glass ultimate's going to come into play sometime in one of these team fights. You wait and see. I promise you, it's going to happen, and it's it, it going to be a to. huge turnaround. Man, these these teams got me pumped up now, Wu Pao. Man, I, I've been ready for this all day, but now I mean, I'm I'm ready to rock and roll over here. I mean, I, I love this. <laughs> Absolutely love watching these kids play. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Oh, yeah. Trying to see if they can get that early pick. Very nice job by Wukong disengaging there. Yeah, but this and Malphite's wanting the yeah. ultimate, guys. He's wanting yeah. it. If they'll oh, group yeah. up, it's coming in. Oh, yeah. Both teams doing a great job of jockeying around this dragon pit, though. Neither one of them giving up exactly where they're all out. They got great spacing. They're going in. Yep. yep. Malphite may have got caught out, though. I think so. Uh, they fire. Oh, he does get over, but no, he does. Oh, wow. Wow. Zillion is going to go ahead and mop up in there, but now the Samira Ultimate's out. They're going to have to be careful there, Chuck, because that Samira Ultimate will eat you alive. Man, they, they are. White County doing a great job. Getting some nice CC in there. Seraphine gets the wow. double kill. Very, very nice team fight. Very nice job by Coach Jones and his squad there at White County Central. Wow. Yep. What a what a team fight there. That was, that was great by both teams. They just they caught one of Brian's players out, Chuck. That was the difference in that team fight. They were. Well, what's crazy is these teams are so equally matched. That one misstep by Malphite. He hit the plant and was trying to go over the wall, and he didn't quite make it. And it caught him out, and then it was downhill from there. Hopefully he'll be back here in a second and get that all straightened out. No problem. Technology, my friend, it happens. But yeah, this is still a super, super close game. I mean, Watkins Central has the upper hand right now. Uh, you know, it's uh, the Drake is only one Drake lead right now. Everything else is it's pretty neck and neck, Chuck. There's not a lot to be said here besides let's just wait and see what the next misstep is if there is one or uh, there's more team fights to be had. Absolutely. That's Samira, man. It's, it's getting kind of scary. Got the cringe bow, uh, you know, starting to get some crit items going on here. Got collector. So if anybody gets low around her, it's, it's instant death. That's right. There's more than one way to do this. Here we go, another battle in the top. Oh man, there's so much going on. That. And runs right into Samira. Golly. And there we go. Yeah, it's it's back and forth, man. 
And that's going to set up the Baron right here. No, we never saw a Baron kill. This is the first game we've actually seen, I think, go past 25 minute mark, though. So, you know, I, the Seraphine is going to come in and try to try to steal, maybe. No, it's too little too late. Yeah, and they had all five team members alive, too, so they're going to be able to. Yeah, we just talked about how dominant White County Central was in the previous fight, and then right there it was just the opposite. Bryant, Bryant made the right moves, the right maneuvers, and cleaned up that fight. Now, here we go. Gold is identical, Strano, identical. And now this Baron buff, I mean, you, you start buffing these minions and you get a good push, you can start taking towers and, uh, you know, this this could change the whole momentum of the game right here. I, I think I'm back in, Chuck. I see that beautiful bearded head on there now. I apologize, everybody. I had to restart the computer. I know it, it's really tragic for the entire stream when the talent goes offline. But, oh, boy. But, oh you know, boy. I'm back. See that things are swinging in, in Brian's favor. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get caught up here. So, you know. Man, you're That's right. the thing, That's Fooey. That was close. You, you're gone, what, maybe two minutes, and it completely flopped from White County's favor to Brian's favor. Yeah, this is definitely not over. This 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 no. isn't every bit the match that we thought it was going to be. Did, we did an excellent job of, pi of picking the uh, stream. We try to pick the one we think is going to be the most competitive, and I'm telling you right now, this is definitely a competitive matchup. Yeah, we're going to see some more. This is going to be a battle over this Drake. Oh, yeah. So they got the blue ward down there trying to get the vision. Malphite's going to try to push that out. Yeah, they may just not be able to get in there in time. They may try to steal. Oh, oh my goodness, it. they did steal. Wow, they steal it, and Malphite, I think, is going to be in trouble here. Oh, man, they could, they could. I don't think they realize it, but they could have mopped that Malphite up pretty easy. He jumped out of that pit, and he was all on his own. And now look, look at, at this top lane up here. Trendamere saying, hey, we got the Drake, we stole it, and now I'm coming in your base, baby. Golly, they, he just about got the inhibitor. Guys, that would have been huge. <laughs> Ooh, Chuck, you you may be in trouble on that one. That could be interrupting some Hogwarts legacy. Oh, true, man. <laughs> hey, but at least you get to... <laughs> Yeah, it is, man. Like I said again, the gold lead, you know, this at the 30 minute mark, you should see one team really starting to move one way or the other. It's not. This is still dead even game. <laughs> yeah, we, we already talked before this. We hoped it went into three three matches. Uh, and we didn't really care if we had to stay late because we know how good both these programs are and what they bring to the table. So we're totally fine with staying late today if we're going to see some league action like this. Absolutely. White County trying to get control in the jungle down here. Both teams doing a really good job. Look, there's hardly any jungle minions on the map right now. Both doing excellent jobs of maintaining that gold flow coming in from that jungle. Grindemir just using to back off the Malphite. Going to get a ping up there too, letting his teammates know. Yep, just jockeying for position right now, yep. trying to make sure they know where everybody's at. You know, the towers are, are starting to come down a little bit, so vision's becoming a more of a problem. I, I mean, both these teams are very well aware. Whoever wins this next team fight is is going to be able to get a push. There's no doubt about it. So they they both want to try to get every advantage they can before this team fight happens.
Looks like they're... Brian's content just to shove mid. Yeah, but man, that blue pal there is so close across the board. So close in itemization, so close in kills. I mean, it, this is this is impressive. Yeah, I think what really scares me is that Samira, you know. She now has the Infinity Edge online, Collector's online, got Boots, got Mythic. It's, uh, you know, it's going to become kind of nasty. And that Renata's ability to keep her alive even longer. Yeah, I agree. I didn't, I didn't see, I thought the ultimate would play more into it, but that ability to keep Samira alive just for a couple more seconds even is huge in this game. Well, like the, you know, the Malphite can can afford to stick his head out a little bit more because, I mean, you can see his health bar. He's got a lot of health, a lot of armor. He's going to be hard to kill. So he can kind of look and see what's going on and still get out of there without being killed. Yep. Getting some, getting some poke back and forth here by both teams. Trying to contest here. Like I said... We'll have a Drake coming up here soon. We'll have a Baron just going about to uh, respawn. So this. Oh, Trendamir was trying to back, but man, he's going to get, he's going to have to, he's going to have to get to stepping. Yeah, Malphite doesn't have enough damage. Those boots were made for walking, Chuck. <laughs> he was getting out of he all he I'm telling y'all he almost got caught and he started to back first. Yeah. Another, another dragon. Oh, yeah. This will be the next fight. Because right now we're even. Each, each team has two apiece. So, you know, these, these, these drakes become more and more important now. Oh, yeah. He knows, man. He's going straight to that inhibitor, man. I mean, Jarvan got it again. That, that, that ability to steal those drakes, man. I mean, guys, Trindamir's in the base. Like, he's pushing. Yeah, I I'm telling you. This is, look at this guy. That's unbelievable. He may, he may get it. No, no way. Oh my gosh, that is unbelievable. That is called a 1000 IQ play, gentlemen. That's what that is. Oh my gosh. I have never seen that before. <laughs> absolutely that is crazy like they were willing to give up some deaths right there in order for trendomir to get some tower push but the whole dang thing guys that is uh that's that's disheartening if you're bryant high school that's disheartening
Oh, that's incredible, man. You don't ever see something like that go down. You know, that's – I think Brian was kind of caught off guard too, man. They thought, well, he ain't going to better get it all. And he just kept pushing and kept pushing and kept pushing. Man, if you're if you're Brian, that's like a punch in the gut, man. You're just like that just deflates you a little bit. Oh. I'm sure I'm sure the Trendemere ban is gonna be a real deal right here. They don't want to see that crap again. Oh, he didn't have that good of a, a record. I think he didn't even get a kill. I think it was like 0 and 4, but that's not that's not the name of the game here. This is a team game, man. And, that, and that's that's perfect. He knew that his other four teammates were a little stronger. They could combat a little bit. They kept getting the Drake steals. Golly, that is unbelievable. matter oh okay mike's been muted this whole time and then curtis has been down with his mic oh man that stinks so bad because that was such a good game oh my goodness well that's that's how technology works i had my mic muted on stream because i was getting so much feedback with curtis and um, it's just unfortunate. Bummer. Yeah, then his mic kept going off. So, anyways, good game, excellent gameplay. Thanks for letting us know through the through the chat. I don't. We kind of changed our setup today, and I'm not a big fan of the changes we made. But. Um, We'll see what we can get going on for y'all. Um, but shoot fire, what a game. Yep, that's a great way to start it right there, man. I'm uh, checking out some other stuff. Looks like right now uh, Mavericks, Maverick Esports are up one nothing over Kim Chi of Van Buren. Um, looks like the uh, win Delta Swarm is up one nothing over uh, Gentry High School right now. This is off of uh, PlayVS, by the way, so I'm hoping this is correct. And there's no reporting yet from the Devil Dogs of Moralton or the Rabbit Hole ASMSA match, so that may be a long one, too. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the best League of Legends games I've ever watched in my entire life. Yes, that was the greatest game. That was the greatest game. I, I hate the audio, audio issues, but that was a great game. That one's going to be watched quite a bit. Man, it should be, because that was incredible. I mean, who needs the League of Legends World Championships when you got stuff like this going on, man? These kids are incredible. They're, they're absolutely incredible. Yeah, thanks, Coach Moore, for for messaging. Um, and any messages, if you like, if you'll do them on the stream, we'll actually see them quicker. But appreciate you letting me know that I was not audible. Um, <laughs> Wu Pao could hear me. Curtis could hear me. <laughs> I had it muted on stream because I mean, we Curtis, you know, we get excited. I didn't want the I didn't want y'all to have to suffer through the feedback. All right, they're going to take a quick bathroom break, and I don't blame them there. Um, I'm going to try to do some housekeeping on the on the stream so that everything gets represented. We will be changing sides, so I need to go ahead and fix that.
Oh. Does it work? Yeah. Must have. I think that's why. <laughs> I think I just bumped it. Probably <laughs> jumping around out here on that thing here. Let's... That was part of the problem, buddy. Yep. I don't know. His mic still sounds like trash on my headset. Huh. It's got a it's, lot of weird. Echoes. It's going up and down. Yeah, it's going up and down. Let me Let, see here. We might just trade headsets here. Um, hate to change anything off this computer since it's working. Yeah, I don't want to do anything off that one. Here's a set. Here's a set. Or you can find another one around. I'm sure we have some headsets in this lab. Yes, boys, I am ready. After that last match, for sure. I'm not sure what to expect right now, Strano, from the banning stage. I, mean, I oh. think they want to keep some of the same bands, but dang, man, you got to get rid of some of those guys. Yeah, that is... Um, That's Anivia that, back band again. Anivia, yeah. That was that was one that I, I, I do remember. Miss Dale. Love you, Miss. All right. I think uh, we're you, getting... Love you too, Fooey. Yeah, <laughs> love you, Fooey. <laughs> oh, so my, now my mic works. Yeah, your your mic yeah. works now. Yeah. <laughs> so so far, identical bands from last game. <clears throat> I'm very curious if Bryant's going to ban this trend of mirror. Just be like, you know what? We'll just we'll game plan a little differently this next go round. I still can't believe the trend of mirror wasn't running hole breaker. No, no hole breaker. And still did all that cleanup. Yeah. Oh, there's a zillion band this time. Okay, that's a little different. That I zillion that's... was really effective in the mid lane. Way more effective than I thought, Wu Pal. Yeah, you get a zillion a couple of items, man, and those bombs just eat you alive. Plus the ultimate, you know, being able to right. revive yourself or a teammate's pretty pretty nasty. My question is, what are you giving the mid laner if you're taking away a zillion? Yeah, that's true. I don't know what they – I think a victor may have been the other open selection possibly. Yeah, and I guess the Anivia probably would be a mid lane pick too, so they're really going after that mid laner, which I, I think they should. That mid laner really had a solid, solid game. Absolutely. Oh, they left the Annie. That's what it was. The Annie's open, and they're hovering it over right now. Uh oh. Yep, Tibbers on Tibbers. Or is this a. Yeah, yep. That's Tibbers on the right. Yep. White County Central on the right. They change sides. Confuses me. That yeah, does me too. But I've got it marked in the stream, so everybody at home knows what we see. Well, that Annie pick, man, she's very strong right now. Gotta hey, stick with the Nautilus. Can't say, can't argue that one. Nope. Bring back the big guy. Bring him on. I'm getting the thumbs up from Chuck now, so I'm assuming things are better. We got a Swain in here, man. Ugh. The Swain is just it, it is nasty and icky and yucky to play against. Yes. Just and tons that may be, of damage. Yeah. That may be support too. Yeah, I, I believe it will be. You could play Swain a little bit of anything, really. You could play mid lane as well, but I bet you that's well. I bet you that may be their mid laner. And with that ultimate of Swain's, and then the extra time on top of that, wow! It, we could see a, a one minute Swain ultimate here with the, with this parry. Gross. Yeah, that is that is nasty. Go ahead and turn your camera back on. Mm -hmm. Unless you think it's crashing. Uh, oh, I didn't turn my camera on. 
That's why that's why Chuck has to drive because I don't I don't pay attention enough. Well, Trendamir's back. I can't say that I blame him for that one. Trendamir's back. He's back again. Oh man. <laughs> Go tell a friend. Hey, they get rid of the Malphite, though. I, I like that. I think that Malphite Ultimate and Malphite roamed a lot. Malphite hurt. Yeah. Malphite done very well in the mid lane. I don't blame him for getting rid of that. Um, the Trendamir, I don't think it's going to be able to pull the same little trick. Uh, just, they can maybe Bride's going to see that Pixie. Uh, that was the best Pixie I've ever watched, ever. Uh, man, that was, that was incredible. Yeah, that's definitely one for the record books there. No Samira. Yeah, I do like that band, man. Samira uh, was too. able to do a bunch of damage. That ultimate resets <laughs> worked really well with the Renata Glass, so I like that. And no Seraphine. Boy, they, they're they really going after each other's picks, man. I, I I love this this bands and this draft and this draft itself. But that does leave some champions on the board that were banned last game. I mean, I don't know if, uh, if we might see a Volley Bear come out here. Uh, I'm trying to think of what uh, what jungler pick we might see. Okay, Nocturne. there's your answer. There you go. Nocturne. Kind of surprised by that a little bit, I think, because Nocturne's kind of a one trick. But the thing about Nocturne is, if you if you catch someone out, they're toast. It's almost a guaranteed kill, and so maybe that's what they're thinking. Uh, as much as their jungler really like to roam and roam lanes. Timo, ooh, that's Ow. almost as bad as a Vi almost as bad as a Vigar. <laughs> I agree with you, Chuck. That's close. Timo that's and all those mushrooms are so annoying. You have to run a scanner. You're forced. You're just already telling the other team. You know what? Your support's going to run a scanner, and somebody else's going to run a scanner because I'm going to put bombs all over the map. And a vein there, Wu Pao. I like that pick. Yeah, we may see a Swain mid here. Let's see Renata Vane bottom. That's that's a that's a pretty nasty group right there. Yeah, Vane takes a little bit to get online, but once she does, man, especially with the given her, given Vane an extra four or five seconds to to pump out damage because of uh, Renata's ability, it's scary. A gin. Nope, Nautilus. Wow. Nope, fooled you, Nautilus. <laughs> nice. I, well, I like, I like the Gen Nautilus. I mean, that's a that's a staple of the bottom lane. You got you got good control. Gen does a lot of damage too. I, I like it. I like that pick from uh, both teams. But yeah, I do like the Gen Nautilus combo. It, it works really well. Yeah, this bottom lane is going to be pretty even. I think. I mean, that's. You know, the Swain, Annie, that, that's a pretty good, you know, if Swain can get that pull, pull Andy under tower, because Andy's got to be a little closer, a little short-ranged, so uh, that'll be a little tougher. But that, that Timo Trendemir top, that's a that's kind of a funky one. I'm with you too, Chuck. I, the, the Timo shrooms, man, I just want to punch my monitor. It seemed like he can yeah. lay like a thousand of those everywhere. Yeah, like I said, he can, and it, it's really, really annoying and frustrating because it slows you. Even in the later game, he just keeps chunking them everywhere. He's going to clog up as much lanes as he can. He's going to clog up every bit of uh, brush that you go into. So I, I'm looking – I think both these teams are thinking late game, though, Wupao. I would be – say, hey, we played pretty dead even in the beginning. You know, we, we got a home run on you uh, at, at that very end there. We, we tricked you into the dragon fight kind of. And um, I, I would be thinking late game, long game, just 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 because of the way both these teams started out. Oh, I agree. I think they expect another long game. And, you know, if I'm Bryant, I'm not upset, man. I mean, they had that game right where they wanted it. It was just one of those weird oh, things. Oh, I'm where upset. Trina I'm Mira so got... mad. I'm burning furniture. Yeah. I'm throwing my keyboard. <laughs> I am so mad about that. <laughs> That shouldn't be allowed. There should be a log in that. That was oh my gosh! Excellent job. I can't. I'll go up for that one for years. I'll be talking about truly, that one to my grandkids. 
I think Bryant was thinking what I was thinking. Like, yeah, he may get a tower and he may get this, and then he just keeps going and going and nobody recalls. And then it's like, by the time they recall, it's too late. So I'm, I'm pretty sure someone, either someone started to recall or they recalled and Trinomir killed them because that, there there was a start of a recall, but I'm not, I, I didn't, I couldn't see up there to see exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone recalled. I can't remember if it was Malphite or who it was exactly, but, you know, the Jarvan stole the Drake. And then they finally could realize what Tridomir was doing. As soon as they recalled, though, he posted up the uh, his ultimate, Tridomir did, and it was just too little too late. And it, it, that Jarvan stole two Drakes, Wu Palace. That's how you do mention the Drake there. He stole one before that, too. I mean, excellent timing by the jungler. It's not easy to do. That's It's very hard to keep your cool and time that smite just right. So he did it. He did a great job there, too. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm kind of with you, though. I'm curious how this Nocturne's going to play in. I mean, I know his ultimate's kind of annoying, you know, and he, he's got some good ability, but, I mean, maybe I'm just not so familiar with Nocturne. That may be part of the problem. I'm not really sure how it's going to play into the team. The, the thing that I, I always think with him is, like, he's a great assassin jungler. Like I said, if, if you want to just take Vayne down real quick, you catch her out, you, you ultimate in, she's dead. I mean, you... You just delete them. The only thing I see uh, as a negative for Nocturne is there's not going to be that team fight ability there. It's going to be, can I pick somebody off before the team fight starts, or can I mop up the three people that almost died in that team fight while the rest of my team is coming back on? So Yeah, true. And are we dead even in the skin war here? I believe we are. Oh, I love the Astro Nautilus skin. That's one of my favorites. Panda, uh, Panda Annie, another good one. Yeah, if he just had a SpaceX logo on that Nautilus uh, spacesuit, I, I would just be, yeah, that would be all I would ever run on. Well, that is what I always run on Nautilus. Love that skin. So White County is going to be in the red this time, Chuck. Is that right? Yes, White County is in the red. And Bryant's going to be in their home color. Okay. Yeah, both in their home color, basically. Yeah, and and good call there, Fooey. I see Nocturne and Nautilus both picked up the Oracle lens already, so they're, they're on shroom duty. <laughs> already, yes, you are, you are correct. They, and... they do not get the invade there. Went for it again, though. Man, I, I like them sticking to their guns. This is what we're going to do. At the beginning, this is how we're going to start, and they they just stuck right with it. Okay, hopefully everybody can see that. Um, the thing failed to pick up the game. It, you're good, I think. I got the stream over here, so. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, it's 720, unfortunately, but. All right, good deal. All right, got a little dancing down here by Jen. Said, I'm ready to see both these teams get right back at it again. And I, I think we're going to see a very similar scenario to what we saw in the first game. I do, too. I, I, you know, we didn't get the early jungle invade on this one, but I think we're going to see, you know, everybody kind of just chilling, taking their time, and maybe level six, it's, it's time to get busy. Yeah, and both, both teams choosing the leash here. Uh, Viego is very strong in that jungle early game, uh, Wu Pao. That's, that's one jungler that I always have to watch out for when I play jungle. I d typically, no matter who I play, I do not want to fight him before like level seven or eight because his ultimate early on will put the hammer down on you. Yeah, true. And he's got some good champions too to duplicate as well. So, yeah, that Viego pick could be... Could we give them the upper hand on this game? I just love how they're almost completely dead even across the board on CS. Just right out of the gate. I mean, very, very close. 
Trendemir just a little bit behind Teemo, but not to be expected with Teemo being able to get the poke out there uh, and be in range. So. Yeah, it's so tough playing top lane as a melee champ and he gets arranged. It's it's heartbreaking and, mm. well. It is. it is. It's frustrating, but uh, you just kind of have to wait until you come online before you can really start doing it, before you can really start poking back. I mean, you see it right there. Teemo just gets yep. what, three hits uh, uh, to one there. There's not really much you can do about that as Trendemir. Just try to farm the best you can. And, man, Nocturne coming in for the early game. Dang, yeah. You just can say, hey, that. He's saying, "Hey, if that rat's gonna hang out up here, we're gonna we're gonna try to take him down." Yeah, but Timo, guys, he uses ignite. He may. Oh, nope, never mind. Nope, not enough damage. Yep. Good, Great. good gank by Nocturne. And man, Viego's just almost there in time to help out on that Chucky. Just a, just a few seconds behind, and he does he just opts to back off of it. I think that's a very good decision by him. You know, he wants to help out his teammate, but he says, "You know what? It's just it's just not." Not, I'm just not there fast enough. Yeah, it's not in the cards for me today. I'll head yeah. back. But Nocturne hanging close to that top lane. He's going to make sure Trendemir is able to get online. So, yeah. Fair enough. That's Got how it. you handle that. Up, oh, Trendemir's going to back. Cancel that. Maybe trying to bait Teemo up a little bit into his tower. Nocturne's kind of in the area. Yep. He's wanting Teemo to push up a little bit more. Yep, there he goes. Is that enough? Is that is that? It's not. <laughs> He's coming to put the ward down, though, and that might give Nocturne a chance to, to get in yeah. there. Yeah. He's not really not going to expect Nocturne to be there, I don't think. And, man, invisibility saves him right there. Ugh, I'm telling you. I'm going to start a support group for those of us that despise Timo and Samira and Vigar trying to all throw that in there. You know, we'll, we'll meet on every Monday at 6 o'clock, talk about our issues and problems we're having and broken <laughs> yeah. equipment that ensues. I would like to also suggest that Pike be thrown into that group. That's that's a very good suggestion. <laughs> Timo keeping Trendemir up underneath tower. Bryant getting a good wave push here in this bottom lane, and this might allow them to try to come up for this this Drake. Their jungler's coming up. Nocturne's in the area, but he's not going to do anything on his own. And, man, Bryant just comes and fires that Drake up immediately. Man, they, they know they're going to go for this. Nocturne they're, they're all in. Backs up. Bottom lane there. They're not, yeah, too little, too late. They was going to yep. try for a steal, but they just wasn't in position. Nope, great job just backing off of it. They didn't have numbers. Their bottom lane wasn't in position, so they just let them have it. A excellent job. Both teams choosing to let these waves push in. Trendemir just mopping up around his, his tower here. Doing a good job of, of trying to keep up with this Teemo up here. So he's about to come online on that, though. Uh, he's not very far behind on CS, so I think we're going to see him him start to be able to push the issue here just, a, just shortly. Nice push in the bottom lane, too. Bryant coming down there, catching that wave, but uh, White County just going to go ahead and come back down here, right back to lane. Really nice back by that bottom lane for White County. Ooh, we got us a good fight here, Chuck. Yep, a little bit of knock up. And oh. Nocturne coming back in on the Teemo. Get that Teemo. Get that Teemo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here comes oh, Annie too, guys. And he's coming yep. in saying, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ooh, nice dodge by the Annie. Excellent play Diego's by the Annie. Diego's in the area, yeah. though. He's coming in. Trendemir's up there. Going to have to be careful. Yeah, if this doesn't go well, it could hurt bad. 
Yeah, and they're still, boy, they're just going back and forth with that Swain. Swain trying to hang around here, but Annie pushing on down the lane. Don't know if, nope, not going to see it, so. Baron about to come online. Yep. Yep, we're at eight minutes now. Let's see, we got the uh, jungler back in and Trendemir back in once again. Got Nocturne down here farming already. He, I think he's looking for a gank in this bottom lane. I think they may let them push on purpose here. And hey, let's load this up. They don't have vision. Yeah, Nocturne can use that ultimate right across that wall, Chuck. And here it comes right here. Yep, sure Let's enough. See it. Got the ultimate coming out from Nautilus for the knockup. Very nice job by Oof. the Nautilus. Oh man, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and get. Kari goes those. down. Yeah. Yep, this is gonna very be very nice job. Excellent push there by by Matt Jones's uh, daughter in the bottom lane. That is Alley Cat. Yeah, it was a well timed ultimate there by Nautilus that caused them to be able to get that extra damage out there before they got too far under tower. So it was very very nice. Had ultimate from Nocturne. Uh, ultimate from Nautilus, just back to back Ooh, there. Tons of control. Annie, Annie can do this. this she just needs Jimmer. to get that stun off. Yeah, you gotta. Oh, oh, so close. Shoosh, shoosh. That that was something I would have done. I can't blame her. I can't blame Annie. That that's exactly what I would have done. <laughs> Oh, it's a good play. You got Swain yeah. to have to back. I mean, that's exactly what you want. Now, Viego's hanging around here. No Tibbers isn't going to be online. But look, Annie is running straight to Nocturne. Uh, Tibbers is back online. I didn't think Tibbers would be back up that fast. Tibbers still there trying to help out Nocturne. And, man, this is going to be close, Chuck. And he's going to get the double kill out of this. Great and, job wow. by the Pride jungler there. I've told you that Viego's very strong early game. And there yeah, you just saw it. Yeah. Because when Annie goes down, Tibbers hits twice as strong, twice as fast. Yeah, I really didn't think Viego was going to survive that. I knew he was going to pick up a kill or two there. So. But... I, I thought Tibbers was going to knock his head off. So we're, we're right back to square one here in this game. 3-4, 15K gold, 16K gold. I mean, they are just right there with each other once again. Yeah, this is road back, 10 minutes back to the other the other match. Ooh. Oh, Nocturne coming in on the rat. Let's see if he gets him. Oh, he gets – how does he get out of that? Man, I can't believe that he got out of that. I just knew he was toast there. But there goes, uh, you know, Timo surviving another gank. I just check and chat every once in a while. Clearing out vision. I just got a report uh, here, Chuck. It says the Mavericks take the win over Van Buren. Said so they're looking forward to playing the winner of this match. Oh, I so, bet they are. <laughs> yeah, so congratulations to the Mavericks on picking up that win and advancing in the state tournament. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm sure Kim Chi gave them all they wanted, though. Yeah, I mean, but it is 530, so... Yeah, it looks like the uh, Delta Swarm 2 owed Gentry as well. So, okay. Congratulations to Win. Looks like they are moving on as well. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, I think everybody's everybody's glad for Win being able to get those those victories where they can find them. Man, we just got action all over the rift right now. Yeah, there's Man, a lot no of team. posturing. Yeah, Timo's trying to dip down here. See if maybe he could get something going in that middle lane, but Annie sees it and backs off of it. But the dude, man, they're doing a good job of clearing out this vision. Everywhere they go, they're trying to get the vision cleared out. Well, when you get to this high level of play, vision is extremely important. You kind of got to know where everybody's at, where the objectives are as far as people moving around them and stuff. So, yeah, if you can clear that vision, that's very important. Yeah, we've seen it time and time again. Uh, vision wins games. 
Yeah, you both you guys are exactly correct. It's so critical to know where that person's at, know where that jungler's at, know if someone's dipping because otherwise you're going to run into a two on one or a three on two accidentally. And at this level, you're you're not going to win those matchups very often if you're at numbers disadvantage. Man, and he bust out the tibbers and just destroy Swain in that middle lane, Chuck. I know, I know Chuck loves seeing that. Wow, that was – yeah. there was some melting fire going on there, Chuck. Yep. Well, it doesn't help that – you know, it doesn't hurt that Annie's up, you know, what, 40 CS almost? Yeah, I but, mean, I mean, the two – I didn't think about this so much because I wasn't sure. I thought Swain might be playing support, but, you know, both of them are short-range champions, so that's forcing Swain to have to walk up on this Annie – and Annie's really taking advantage. Of that takes a tower shot here. Viego going to come in and say, "Hey, if you you're going to tear up my Ooh, buddy, then there goes very nice gank, very nice gank by the Viego there." Yeah, that Viego is going to be dealt with soon. I agree. Uh, you, he, he's got the cringe bow going on there, Wu Pao, but he's yeah. three and zero right now. So yeah, they're going to have to do something about that Viego. He's just having his way right now. Oh, and he, he chooses to go cringe bow and armor boots. So, man, wow, that's really going to be. Ooh, here comes that gank again. Yep. Nocturne running in fast. Timo does not get out of that that time. He does not get away. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and officially say it. I think this Nocturne is trying to start a bromance with, with Timo in this top lane, uh, Wu Pao. And I don't <laughs> blame them for trying to take advantage of that because of the way that Nocturne can come in and he's just such an assassin. We see it. Teemo gets pushed up. Bam, he's right there to just punch him in the nose. It's great, great teamwork. Ooh, and yeah, he gets really another is. stun yeah, here. Throws out the, the oh. flash. There, got it. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Wow, Come what a heads up play. Another confirmed kill for Annie. Oh, and we got a bottom tower going down too, Chuck. We got constant pressure down here from this White County squad. Doing a very good job, and then they're got, they're on the move now. Got the ultimate coming out from Renata here, though. Vange trying to get. Oh, very nice job, very nice job by Nautilus surviving that. Still getting oh. pressure from Jen. Oh, nice and he does. Jen. He picks it up. Very, very nice Ooh. footwork by the Jen. Yes. Well, oh. the the Jen picking up the Gale Force is a very smart move. That's a really good gap closing mythic, and that paid off right there. Diego Here trying to Diego, get Diego, Diego yeah. is in hot pursuit, boy. He is. He's going to get both of them. No, oh, oh. sure he is. Oh, oh yeah. there goes yeah, that. Yeah. Man, very nice counter gate, guys. That's that's beautiful. That yep. bottom lane gameplay. But we're not, from both we're not done here beautiful. in that bottom. We got no. Annie and Nocturne. They're just waiting in the pit. Ooh, Man. that ignite's going to get him. He said he's oh, he's just going to hold on. Yep. There he goes nope. down. Trendemir does Never mind. Down. Oh, the poison, the burn damage must have got yep. him off that. Sure did. Jin. Ooh. But they're going to turn around and just, and they're going to get a kill in this bottom lane too, though, uh, here, Chuck. And so they, they just kind of went uh, a trade there. Yep, positioning around this Drake. Trying to pull yep. it out of the pit a little bit to make it. Yeah, they are. Where you can't steal it quite as easy. Yeah. Yeah, you have to assault the team to steal it. And they're doing, I, I think, and this is Bryant. They're they're using their uh, uh, telepathic communication with Coach Moore, and he's telling him, you know what, back off that, Chuck. Yeah, that, that'd be a smart move by, by Coach Moore to go ahead and telepath that to him. Man, they, they did. I mean, it's really hard to do because, I, I mean, you guys know, you play a game, you want to win, you know, you, you take a kill or, or you, you take a death and you want to get that kill back. You want to prove that you can play with that other player. It's the same thing with the Dragon Pit. You know you need that dragon. You want that dragon, but you've got to be intelligent enough to know, hey, you know what, they got numbers. It's not worth us us all dying and giving them the dragon. So I, I like that call and then backing off of it. It's another thousand IQ play by these kids. 
something that is a little concerning though is right now uh you know bryant does have almost all of their kills only on the viego yes so they really kind of need to split those up a little bit and spread them out a little more uh you really need that van to get some kills the swain for sure needs to kind of get more involved and you know maybe that leonry's pickup will help that burn damage is is nasty yeah you're absolutely right Wu pal and you got white county over here with a three three and three uh going on so they they are splitting that up a little bit more we'll see how that plays out you know i agree they're gonna have to and maybe they're just saying oh we'll just wait till team fights to deal with him but they're gonna have to deal with that viego at some point yeah they really are and we're not, i mean if you know your trendomir is oh one and three well we know how much damage a oh four trendomir can do so Look at the Tibbers coming out down there, fellas. Wow, just put Tibbers right behind the champion and just literally destroyed Renata Glass. Wow, impressive. I'm telling you, it's, it's so – people forget sometimes, and I myself do too, that Annie has such a powerful stun upon that full oh, spell cast. That, and that thing, man, it catches you out and you're yes. just done for. Yeah. Man, that was just excellent placement of Tibbers right in the back pocket of Renata Glask. Or of Vane, I'm sorry. I have the wrong one. Vane. And, man, it just blew Vane up. Great job by this White County team playing together. Great job by the mid laner dipping down there and helping out that bottom lane. Chuck, they got some bottom lane pressure now. Absolutely they do. And that Tibbers um, in late game is like a sixth player. Absolutely, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, when you get late game, that Tibbers is going to come into effect. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not the most mechanically minded player as far as, like, team comp, but I do know that that's going to go to White County Central a little bit. Yeah, and I agree, too. The 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 cooldown timer on keeps getting lower also, too, Chuck. So, in late game, you're going to see Tibbers up almost at all times, and that will factor into this game. Yes. Every fight, Tibbers will be there. Ooh, we got a gank Ooh. coming in by Nocturne. Can he do anything with this man? Swain breaks out the ultimate, but Annie is right there. Chuck, Annie is on fire. Yeah, she's got five, five kills. That burn damage is kicking in. It, it, 300 gold bounty on her. Um, that mid lane strong. See, there's Tibbers again getting there's him in. Tibbers another. over the wall. I love it, love it, love it. Yes. Chuck's now got he has Tibbers to go through his it. desk. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, now they're going to punish Tibbers. Poor Tibbers. That's fine. That's fine. Tibbers is disposable. That's okay. That's all right. Man, almost got another one right there, Chuck. Over the wall. Absolutely. Surprise attack. Placing that Tibbers right in their back pocket, Chuck. I love it. It's like, hey, Tibbers wants to take a ride with you. And here he is. You can have him. Wow. <laughs> Great play. Woo pow. I'm impressed. I mean, just perfect placement of that ultimate. Uh, it absolutely is, you know, and that's this Annie's already built. He's she's building really good, built an Oblivion Orb. Okay, well, she just finished the Morellos, so that cuts the enemy healing significantly. So yeah, she's going to look to start assassinating people even more often than already is going on. And I like Timo down here clearing out vision. You got the top laner all the way down here at the bottom, throwing mushrooms everywhere, which is infuriating. Putting out vision though, and clearing vision. It's, it's just excellent team play. Yeah, Midnight was very strong the first game. Um, so it's no surprise that they're strong here again with Annie. But, yeah. We're, see, we're seeing a gathering here around this pit, uh, Chuck. They're trying to jockey for vision. They're trying to jockey to get in here on this dragon. It looks like Bryant may be content to push it. No, they're coming back. Okay, I thought they might try to push that mid there. Ooh, Alley Cat being okay. caught out. Just Nope, gets back, team. Gets back. Good Great deal. job. Let's see how they deal with this Viego here, guys. He's 5-0. and oh. I know they're about to have a fight over this pit. Let's see if they go after the Viego. Well, I figure they're going to want that Annie to pick that kill up because if she yeah, gets that bonus Annie. gold. Annie's in the bush there, hoping that one of them overextends, gets the burnout. And they get, Viego is coming around the corner there. He almost wraps around too far, There guys. goes Annie. Goes drops Annie. out Tibbers. I'm telling you. Yep. Bam! Annie Bam. pops out Swain. Does Annie make it out? It's going to be so no. close. No, I think she does, Chuck. She's still going. Oh, she yeah. has almost no help, Man. but she's busting out the shield. And now that's going to allow White County to have numbers and get in here, Ooh, Chuck. Gets the shield again, trying to get health. Oh, got Tibbers in here again. 
Chuck, this Annie is running wild on the rift today. I know Chuck loves it. Chuck loves playing Annie, especially reverse Annie. Uh, loves playing Tibbers. Actually has a Tibbers plushie in the lab that he that he just well, loves. They've, they've seen it. I know they've seen it, but we love having it in the lab. I'm really glad we have it in here because it's just cool to have. But, man, this Annie is going off. Yeah, yeah I, at I'm, this point I'm in the game, guys, this Annie play. Yeah, I'd rather have a fed Annie than a fed Viego. Yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we get this game recorded and uploaded so that Chuck has an Annie game to watch for reference. I don't think that's going to do any good for you whatsoever, but good, good idea. <laughs> I said both teams trying to jockey back and forth. Now, White County did, but it, we're two and two on Dragons, guys. It's, no one but, team is really running away with this, but a little bit of goal no. discrepancy. But White County Central definitely, definitely holding their own this game. I don't know if Brian's a little shook from what happened last game, but White County Central's um, remarkably doing better than the game they just won. Yeah, I agree. They really are. They're kind of getting a little more support from members. And, you know, this Trendemere, I don't know. I just – it's like the whoever plays that, you know, Firewolf really knows what to do. He keeps the top lane busy does his thing, pushes lane out, and then allows the, his other teammates to just ransack the rest of the map. You know, you look at the you look at the kills. Um, of course, Annie and Nocturne are doing good, but but the Trendemere and the support, you know, they've got all the assist. I mean, like, they're doing their job. And, and the kills are evenly distributed throughout White County Central. Um, here comes another game. Oh, Swain, oh, too little man. too late, man. Yep. And then they collect that bounty the may be caught out, though. <laughs> the mirror just got uh, filed in on. But you know what? You're okay with that trade. Yeah. You, yeah, got the, yeah. you get the bounty. Yeah. Now we got two players on White County Central with large bounties. And, um, oh, Annie's taking the fight to Vay in the bottom lane, guys. Sure enough. She, she, she's, she's sick of killing Swain, so she wants to try a little new fresh blood. If I have to, I'll switch down there to her, but. And yeah, you, you guys did point that out, and you pointed out perfect, man. The Trendemere just just staying at home, punishing that lane because Timo has been out of this lane a lot. And now look, they're going to turn. Oh, yeah. You know what? You're going to bring three uh, up to the top house. We're going to bring three. I love it. Yeah. Wow. And he's got the pressure on her. She's playing a little cat and mouse here in the bottom. Oh, over the oh, wall! The oh. Wow. Good job, Midnight. Getting away. What an escape. And this is going to put the Baron oh. Nasher squarely in White County's plate. Yeah, and he's just trying to keep them all busy. Like, and, and she's strong enough right now to do that very thing, where the team can just go into Baron Pit, and they can't contest it, guys. There's nothing they can do. No. Man, that is another 1,000 IQ play right there, and I love Annie going over the wall. They thought they had her caught out, and Annie just gave him the Dakimbe, Chuck. Just said, not today, my friend. No, not no, happen. no. And no. I've got you all out. And guess what? No, the no, Baron's no. ours. No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, but Annie's level um, 15 now, just went up to 15, and that's when Tibbers just pretty much is uh, instant cue anytime there's a fight. Yeah, and they're going to – they're they're being smart here, Chuck. They're going to use this Baron buff to try to push this mid. They know they got super minions, so they're trying to make something out of it. Yeah. Uh, just excellent gameplay all the way around by White County here in this game. I believe you're right, Chuck. I think they, they kind of got in their comfort zone now. They, they kind of they, they got the comfort pick in the mid lane with the Annie, and I think that just made a huge difference for them. Yeah, I mean, their team is Tibbers. That they're trying to get some vision around this pit down here. Is that they do have good vision on the dragon pit. They know that's going to be coming up here soon. They're already planning for it. At Viego trying to clear part of this out, but they know he's there. And man, yeah, there's, that top. there's there there's Trendamir again, Wu Pao. Oh yeah, I mean, that's he, what he's, he's doing. Just constantly putting pressure on. Now he's back in he's, the jungle, taking the taking the. Um, 
path out. This is great. Trinamir. And, <laughs> and this dragon kill right here, guys, this is probably going to give Annie enough, enough gold. Well, it looks like she's going to try to finish up a shadow flame, I believe. So, you know, you're going to get Annie with four completed items, and oh. chew, the damage is going to get unreal. Yeah, Blue pal, the magic uh, Annie, yeah, yeah, with Marillion and then two needlessly large rods, it's it's going to get nasty for real quick. Blue pal. You know, the Viego's been really quiet the last, I don't know, maybe eight, ten minutes here. Yeah, and that doesn't surprise me, Wu Pao. Like I said, he's very strong in the beginning, and from around level six to level ten, man, he is just a terror. But then he kind of starts to taper off a little more, and he's just not going to be able to just pull off those one v ones with that ultimate like he can at an early level. Oh, I agree. Yeah, Timo coming online is going to help Brian a little bit, but yeah, they don't have the they don't have the in game level that they need at this point. Yeah. Hey, Baron buff is just now falling off. So they, they got a lot of utilization out of that Baron buff. Now they're looking to team fight again. I think they're really going to set up somewhere, maybe mid lane, maybe wait till the dragon pops back up. I was about they to say, that probably Nest Drake. Yeah, they're going to Nest Drake. Um, yeah, and Annie's about to hit 17, and that's when she really shines. Well, at 16, yeah, you know, she's got that uh, third point in that Tibbers now, so it's the damage is is for real she did complete the shadow flame so yeah four completed items on annie Ugh, boy I'm telling you guys she's fixing to light somebody up yeah we'll we'll have another team fight here shortly man look, look at all the posturing here though man they, they're really hiding in that brush there <laughs> just daring uh, Brian to come up, but then they're going to back back off of it. I mean, they're doing a great job of yeah, jockeying. Yeah, they're back keeping and them forth. busy oh, as man. Annie goes bottom lane. Yeah, completely makes sense. It's kind of their mo. Positioning, positioning, positioning. They do it so well. Alley yeah, cat, got to get out of there. Get, oh, oh, misses the oh, hook. Missed the, the hook. Miss the hook. If if Alley cat could have got that hook, Alley cat would have been saved. Tough deal but, there. You know. There again, that that's a death you'll take. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, it's not going to hurt hurt Tibbers in the long run because they're going to try to push mid, and you've got Jen in the mid, you've got Annie in the mid, you've got Trendemir hanging around. So, well, they did get both towers, so that that's good. They Bryant did clear the mid lane out. Bryant needed needed that victory there. Nocturne ready to catch somebody off guard. Couple of Bryant's back in. Yeah, Bryant's doing a good job of closing this gold gap here, guys. And that's what they need to do. They know it. They're just going to keep farming. Hey, let's just hang out and farm. Let us get some more gold back. Let me get another item online. And then, then we'll fight you. Uh, and so that's that's great, great play by them. Great heads up. Yeah, and if, and if, they, if they position well enough to get a kill on this Nocturne or the Annie, you know, you're going to get 1,000 gold on one of your champions so that that's you know you're going to complete an item off of one kill if you can catch them out which right. you know we're seeing right here baron's coming from 30 seconds got a drake in a little over a minute so a fight is going to happen inevitably really soon yep. clear and vision. clear and vision around baron so it's <laughs> that's where they're going to want to play it yep clear and vision around baron looking good Trendemir still pushing lane. Uh, this oh, reminds yeah. me uh, of the meme with the with the kid eating the uh, food, and it's yeah. and he's just in the top lane, just minding his own business. Uh, <laughs> it's, I mean, that's that's what this top laner is doing. It's like, hey, I'm still playing top lane, by the way, up here. So, uh, hey guys. <laughs> oh, look at White County, man! They cleared vision on Baron and then rotated to the Drake pit. Yeah, why not? Well, now we can. Never see mind. Yeah. They're yeah. gonna look for a bush play here i like it they're gonna make them think they're going to dragon and see if they can catch somebody sleeping oh they're going to oh, they're going oh, to be an Annie in lane's back pocket yeah in just a second 
I think Bam. it's Honey. There it goes. Honey. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my he goodness. Lifted. Oh my goodness. And Tibbers is running rampant. Chuck's loving it. Oh Double kill gosh. by the Annie. Oh man, what a play by this White County squad. What teamwork. Yeah. Let them get I mean, all the way wrapped around, Wu Pow. That that yeah, takes but. nerve. I can't do it, man. I'm too jumpy. Yeah, wow. That that is awesome. They made them think that they were gonna go for the Baron. They slipped down here and now they're gonna get the Drake out of it, and that's gonna give them soul Wu Pow. And that that's oh, a absolutely. huge buff. I, I would take soul buff over Baron any day. And they're gonna move to Baron as well. And you know, they, they traded one for four. Yeah, you you may have lost your Annie on that one, but it went to Viego again. You're still feeding one guy. It's, it's not going to be able to carry this team. There's just too much equal damage on the other side. No. And now you're getting Baron buff again. I mean, it's... Yeah, and we and know mean, what, yeah. what Caddy can do with Baron. This is going to get nasty quick. Yeah, yeah they're going to back. Uh, Annie may be able to pick up her... Uh... Boy, I just went blank. Is he, is he building Ramadans with the... There you go. That's uh, what I was looking rods, for. She's got two large rods, so I'm assuming that's yeah. what's coming. Oh, she's close too because I, it, caught, it takes a lot of gold to build that. But once you do, man, it's 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 nasty. Yeah, they're they're playing for the the late game, which is smart. Um, this is White County Central's game to win, and if they win this one, if they move on, they advance. So I don't blame them at all. Taking their time. Look, guys, this is a free game here, so let's just take our time and and end it. I'm just going to say if they do move on, Chuck probably will not sleep for a couple of nights because his Annie will be going into the jaws of his fan club. Look at this I gin, guys. Yep. I mean, we can't discredit this gin. He has got some itemization built up as well. Well, gin's 5-1, and one, Woo Pow. 5-1-4. Absolutely. Four. I mean, yeah. he's playing with his team. Yeah, that, right. that picking is a – Excellent, excellent ADC. There's no doubt about that. You know, we keep focusing on the ante, but yeah, you got the gin coming on. I mean, the, the Nocturne's nine and two and seven. I mean, he's involved yeah. in every kill nearly. He's always where he's supposed to be. Those three, and then the support is doing what they're supposed to do, supporting, and then the Trendemir. I mean, the 1,000 IQ play and the constant pressure, like, you can't beat that in the team. The White yeah. County is just I mean, out-teaming them. I mean, look, guys, Trendabir is still playing top lane 35 minutes into the game. I love it. And has cleared the lane now. Yeah, so. exactly. I mean, they just can't, you know, it's got to be frustrating because you have to deal with him at some point, and he's just always right there creating pressure. It's excellent, and, excellent strategy. And this game is actually an excellent example for, I know, um, our, our League of Legends team because we're always on them. It's not about the kill count. It's not about who comes in here and has the highest KDA. It's about who who can play the game. Yeah, both these teams are excellent examples of that, Chug. But White County in this particular game right here, I said across the board, Trendemir has the assist. Alley Cat, 0 2 7. If I'm the support, or I'm ADC, I'll take it. If, if you're going to tell me you're going to get 0 2 7 every game, let's go. Because that means you are in the team fights, you're affecting it, and you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do supporting that ADC, supporting Annie, supporting that jungle. Just great, great Ooh, team play right now. About walked into it. Mm. I mean, I, I'm waiting to see who gets Annie shoved in their back pocket this time. Yeah, yeah, Timbers is going. Right, Timbers. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, the death cap's done, guys. The damage is unreal. Maybe she may yeah. die here, but it's, you know. It, it, it is crazy. Yeah. Nocturne's going crazy still. They get the support, but. Trendemir is doing his thing still. Just, you know, just taking care of the stuff like he does. <laughs> Golly. I love it. Trendemir's like, hey, guys, still playing top lane over here. <laughs> hey. Remember how I just oh, keep putting wow. Nice ultimate there. But Viego gets the shutdown, and then we got Swain come back here. Man, Coach Moore's team is definitely that resilient. Gets that 
And yeah, and out. they are not. They're not. They're not going to go away quietly. They know that this is the playoff. If they can't pull this game out, they know they're going home, and they don't want to. I promise you. So, man, e excellent job repelling that. That that could have been an end right there, guys. Yeah, they did a great job. But yeah, Chuck, I, I heard you say, you know, that gin to get that lash on that inhibitor. So now you have two inhibs down. Top lane, mid lanes open. At pressure, that's, that's going to be tough. Now you've got to pretty much babysit, you know, your base. If you get too far out, <laughs> Trendemir's going to backdoor you, and then you're you're done for. It, it's it's Hive Five has got to play defense here in their base. I'll get that stream back up for the team here. Sorry about that. Yeah, they really are. Uh, White County's got them on their heels. They're really, really going to have to play defense here. Not impossible, though, but this is this is a part of the game where if I'm Bryant, I'm terrified because I know Trendemir's out there somewhere, and I know where he's probably going. So you got to keep an eye on your base. Yeah, I agree. I think, you know, Trendemir may even try to go bot a little bit. He may try to clear out that bottom lane because he's so dang good at killing towers that – and here's Andy. Watch this, guys. Woo! Yeah. Ooh, dead. Delete. Two, oh. two, two dead in, in just oh. a second. Oh. I don't think Tibbers quite fits in Timo's back pocket, but he got in there. Wow. Good <laughs> night. Holy cow, dude. That is that is two champions. That is a Vane and a Timo dead in two seconds. Oh, man. I'm uh, getting a lot of mileage out of my Tibbers today. As Almost. our uh, uh, team would say, uh, reduced to atoms. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Yep. And I, there's nothing they can do about this Drake here, Wupal, because of it. Oh, absolutely not. That's right. Your damage is dead, basically. You know, that Renata yeah. may inconvenience them for a second, but that's it. Ouch. He's Brendamere good. may still get away from this, guys. Yes, yeah, mobility is crazy. Yeah, nope. and that unending rage just is infuriating if you've ever played against it. You think you got him. Uh, the first few times you play, you don't know what's going on. Why do he, I can't kill him. He won't die. And it's infuriating. Yeah, absolutely it is. And, you know, Watkins and Central's done a really good job of objectives, you know, with Barons and Drakes. And now they've got the Soul. They've got Elder. They're just, And they're going to take know, the shortcut all the way back to, to Brian. Uh, they're going to yeah. go over Baron. Ooh, this could be bad. Mm. Yeah. If Brian and, thinks they can take the Baron, this could be bad. Oh, my goodness. And they all jump in the pit together. It's going to die so fast. Was... There's no way they can even contest this. Nope. No. They have to try. I feel like they have to. But if they get caught out, like oh. it's just happened, then. There goes the gym. ultimate comes out. Yep. Right that in the picking. middle of all this. Mm. You got Nocturne in there pumping out damage. Jen pumping damage into the crowd. Wow. Wow. And Trendemir. Golly. Bryant not left standing. And he gets the shutdown. Yeah, that's GG. Tibbers is heading. I, yeah. I think that's a GG, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Tibbers got full access to the base. This is not where you want to be. Bryant had such a good season. Um, Coach Moore, excellent job. But this is amazing. Um, good job, Matt. The teamwork yeah. was just impeccable. Insane. Insane. That I first mean, game, insane. It's, I'm out. You, you can see why you can see why both these teams are in the top eight. There's no doubt about it. It's easy to see. It's just today it's, today was White County's day. I think this this one here, their uh, champion picks were just spot on. I agree with you, Wu Pal. I, th I think they did a great job. They got the comfort pick they wanted uh, because of the way they played in the first game. Uh, both these teams just excellent excellent teams excellent coaches i just want to uh, i want to brag on them some more i said coach matt uh coach moore both they love league of legends this is their jam this is what they do and they always bring it every year and i'm so happy for them that they have such good quality teams yeah absolutely the, yeah well, they're, both they're my are. top 10 favorite uh, top 20 favorite coaches in the state Top 30. <laughs> I don't know if that's better or worse, man. It's, the number is getting bigger, top, top. you know? No, no. Both uh, Matt knows that I'm a big fan. 
Um, so does Coach Moore. They're, they're just great guys that love this game, love their team. Um, if Matt's listening, or even Coach Moore for that matter, I, I would love for y'all to talk about your program. Um, so y'all can all feel free to jump in here. But excellent game. Excellent gameplay. Beautiful job by Matt. Yeah, we, we talk about it a lot, guys, but that was just a well-rounded team team game right there. Uh, congrats again to White County Central. Moving on to play the Mighty Mavericks. Hello, Coach Moore. Welcome to the chat. Hey, thanks. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful season this season. You can't be disappointed. Um, no way. White County Central just had the stars aligned today. They did. I, they played such a beautiful game. Uh, that first game – caught us off so so bad we we had so much confidence and because we knew we knew coming in this was going to be that white county is going to be a giant we did not underestimate them by any stretch of the imagination no, we you know can't. matt and we know matt and matt's team always has great teams and last season i i knew was you know an anomaly for them they had some they had a, a rough start just because of who they played the first couple of weeks we had kind of a rough start and last season was kind of our season you know and we got we got some pieces that fell into place for us that that they didn't and this season like you know this is the game that I was looking forward to and um and we were scared that last game I will I got to give props to Bentonville West because they did play us a lot better than I thought they would uh, they had a really strong team for it. That's the strongest number 12 team seed I've ever seen. But, uh, but my guys, you know, we, we were able to, uh, fight back in that one. We actually came from behind on that one. We lost the first game and then, okay. uh, and so they, so that was kind of a teaching moment. So I thought, well, okay, you know, here we go. The, we got the momentum and then we played that first game. I don't think we could have played it any better. Um, I was talking to my guys, uh, just agree. now. I, I was like, you know, how many of those games have you actually seen, you know, in the course of your time playing? And I, I can only think of maybe less than a handful um, and stuff. I, I keep on thinking of the – there was a play um, – that I, I didn't watch originally. I think it was like the first or second world championship yeah. where, uh, where a very similar situation happened, uh, and they and they came back and won. So it, it was very exciting. Um, it, it didn't go in our favor. Uh, that was the but, best pixie I've ever. That was the best pixie. Oh, ever. that's going to be shared. Like, for real. Like, I'm I mean, glad it happened in the Arkansas State tournament. That's. I mean, oh I hate, yeah, for I sure. hate it happened to you, but I'm right. Glad no, I, that. no, I. <laughs> I'm glad I got to see it because, I, to me, it was just amazing. And uh, my team, you know, that, believe it or not, I mean, yes, you know, we're, of course, shouting, you know, we're, I was like, you've got to be joking me. And, uh, you know, the, that they canceled uh, – what happened was Trendamere, they didn't think – they exactly what uh, – who he was – or who Pal, who Pal was – uh, talking about about how we didn't expect him to take towers that fast, and it was a I believe it was a malfight uh, uh, teleport into the tower, and he knocked down the tower, so that canceled the re, and then we didn't have enough time to get back. Uh, oh, and when man. we did, he ard, and he was unstoppable, and got those last couple hits in. And the, I mean, the, just, he was dead. Oh he, yeah, it was. It was incredible, uh, but <laughs> he did exactly what he was supposed to do. I mean, he went, I mean, he, I, you know, we brought our guy down because we knew that we needed him in T fights. And so we felt like he was pretty well in check, but he just kept on getting towers and kept on making us pay for it. And in the end, I mean, that was a huge difference and uh, in the game. And it, that was just a heartbreaking way to end that first game. And, uh, and then, you know, we played the second game, and, you know, our jungler was just so strong in that game, uh, but then we just didn't have the kills on pretty much anybody else. I mean, Timo got some, but I think everybody else went, oh, it looks like. And we just, I mean, they did such a good job of, I mean, they they knocked us out. I mean, we had a couple players in it, but overall played such so well as a team and and uh that what you just witnessed there darius's last high school game uh which breaks okay, my heart I was, I was about to ask how many seniors you graduate now because yeah that's always I, the question i ask 
Yeah, I graduate two this year. One was on my JV team on the High Five Rising. Um, and so I uh, said goodbye to him on Monday. And that was a hard one uh, to say, you know, to say goodbye to Jack. But this one with Thomas was I, me and Jack are, are, are close, but me and Thomas are really close as well. And uh, Thomas, we've been, you know, I this is my fourth year of this program. He's been here since day one. Um, and I've seen him grow and just amazing. You know, I remember, uh, him going to the, he was my only player that went to the very first state, like in-person state championship, um, and, uh, in hot Springs right there before COVID and his dad brought him down, you know, as a freshman, he was, you know, just really excited about the game. And so it was really cool to see and then have that you know, that kind of that all around moment in the fall that we got to go to the state championship and play in the state championship. And not only that, but we're live and it was just so much excitement. And so and overall, it was a great year. It's just hard whenever that was our fall, you know, and you, you know, you never want to regress. You want that next year, you know, to at least get back to where you were. um, And if not, you know, win it. And so we knew that, the, the side of the bracket we were on was partic- particularly hard because you're going to have to go through White County Central and you're going to have to go through, uh, you the know, Mavericks. you're going to have to go through the Mavericks next. And, the, you know, the Mavericks, you know, right now until, you know, you say anything else, they're the best in the state. But I know that that White County match, man, they're going to give them they're you know, they're going to give it to them because <laughs> White oh, County. Man. I know Matt knows he's got a not hard next game, but White yeah. County, um, they want it so bad. Yeah, for sure, and I and I want that for him too. I mean, I me and Matt have known each other for for years. I think we've been in here since year one. Both of us have been um, and stuff since you know five years ago when this entire thing started. Um, and uh, and so me and Matt have known each other for a long time, and uh, you know he. He's just, it's just such a great program. I mean, it's two storied programs. I wouldn't want to go out to, you know, anybody else, I think, because he just, you know, I know how much his team wants it. I know how much our team wants it. You know, I mean, and how many, you know, I was sitting there looking at the time. I was like, here we are past 530 and we're only in game two. So, yeah. uh, you know, I mean, we'd probably just be starting the stream now for game three. And that, you know, who knows how long we'd be here. But uh, two two really good programs. I'm very proud of my team. I'm, I hate that we lost it that way. Uh, but the good thing is that as of right now, we're returning four starters. So I feel like that's going to be a good, strong one. You've got to feel absolutely. good about you got to feel good about T Viper coming back. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah. And I think what what's hard, I think what scares me, I think the most is that I believe uh you know, T Viper, you know, he's another one that I've had since he was, you know, a pup. See, he, I've had him since he was in 8th grade. Um and so he came to that first year uh, with Thomas, but we started with, you know, whenever he was in eighth grade, I started advertising, getting him ready for the, you know, to play in ninth grade. And he was one of my first ones that I, I really got in there. And so, um, and so he has really come on and I mean, and so I, he's definitely my leader and I'm, I'm excited to have him back. He'll be a senior next year. Uh, the other three will be juniors. So I still have a couple of years with them. Hopefully, uh, they, so, you know, several of them are very talented in other things. And so I'm hoping I don't lose them to, to other, you know, activities outside of yeah. sports, but, and I've got some good young and comers. I mean, my JV team is full uh, of some good ones. I've got a couple of good freshmen down there and I, I have a, another uh, junior this year. that's going to be a senior that should be coming up. And then I had a whole freshman team. I don't know if you knew that, but my, my third yes, team was, was all <laughs> freshmen. So, uh, and then I had my eighth grade program. Uh, I've got about three or four eighth graders are going to come up. So, uh, so I think we're, I think we're okay. I mean, I hate, I hate today, but uh, but I think our program's definitely got a good future ahead. So, yeah, you're in good shape, Coach Moore. You're going to be in the same situation or better for years to come, no doubt. I hope so. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just very lucky that I get. Uh, I'm just very lucky that I get a. Uh, you know, I'm. I basically this is all I coach, and so this is my main focus. 
Uh, not very many schools can can do that. We we do offer three overall, but we've got two coaches over three esports. So um, so definitely, I, I I'm very lucky, and I I think we definitely uh, use that to our advantage. So. Congratulations to you, sir, on a fantastic year. Uh, you know, today and more great things in the future, my friend. Thank you. I, I appreciate all you guys do for for Arkansas High School esports. You guys are definitely, uh, you know, you guys. I mean, this is amazing to me that you guys do this for fun. You know, you you guys don't have you know anybody in it, and here you are just broadcasting and just showing the love of the game. And yeah. I, I appreciate everything you guys do. I've got a um I've got to get home because I've I got a, <laughs> I've got a final project for my um yeah for for my for for my class. I can't even remember what class I'm taking now. That's that's where I'm at. It's <laughs> There it's, you go. It's coming up on finals week right now. It's crunch week and I'm I'm having troubles but absolutely <laughs> I love to I love to sit in here and and do this, and if I have to stay up till you know one o'clock in the morning, get my homework done. Well, that's just the way it's going to be. Yeah, <laughs> and I know Curtis feels the same way about it, and you know, and, and Wu Pao, he's he's already got his BA, and he, he's fine with where he's at, so he just he just enjoys the ride. <laughs> well, see, I, I've already got my master's, and I'm working on I'm working on uh, like additional licensures and stuff. So that's what I'm I'm in. I'm in. I, I think I've. I'm 14 or 15 pages into a 10 page paper right now. Uh, and I'm not, I'm about, I'd say yeah. about 75% done. So I understand I've been the last couple of nights, I've been staying up till 11 o'clock, almost midnight, trying to get this paper done. That was due on Sunday. So I'm trying, try, luckily I, I've got some advisors that are very uh, nice and let me have a little bit of time that I need because of everything. So. All right, good deal. So, Who else well, do we you have? Guys in... take care. Hey, you too. Who else do we have in the chat with us today? Sky Atlas. That's Jerry. Ah, oh, see, I was I was wondering who that was. Yes, thank you, yeah. Jerry, for for stopping into the deal here. Um, excellent win today, right? We got a win from you. You're still muted, but yeah, looking forward to your game. All right, so I'm not sure if Jerry's in here. Um, he's he's on mute, but uh, Michael, you hearing Jerry at all? No, I'm not. Uh, I would love to be able to talk to you, Jerry, but. I hear some wind noise and and not not much else. Okay, well, he's trying back. He's still muted. Mike's still showing mute. That's not on our end. Um, Good stream today. Awesome matches. Looking forward to Friday now. Yep. Hopefully we can get the we get to talk to him um, this week though. So thanks for joining us. Um, I know that y'all have had a rough time there and win, but I'm glad that y'all got something to celebrate here with the state tournament. Um, and we're looking forward gotcha. to your game. 